Hey everybody, it's GalmudX, and welcome back to some more magic-related content. Today is the official start of Strixhaven School of Mages spoiler season, and to celebrate the occasion, I will be taking the Strixhaven quiz that they have provided on the official homepage for the Strixhaven product. So, I have been seeing a lot of these posted around Twitter, and I got kind of excited about it, and I figured I would give my own test at it. Of course, the spoiler season has started, so there are some really great spoilers heading around uh, everywhere. I'll have links in the description to that as well. Uh, my favorite place to check out spoilers is on Scryfall. I just think they have very high-quality images of cards, and uh, that helps a lot as a content creator for grabbing thumbnails and stuff, so I'll have the link to their spoiler page and, of course, the official page for Strixhaven, which is where this quiz is in the description below. With that out of the way, we're going to check out which of the colleges of Strixhaven that I fall into, and, uh, and yeah, should have some fun with it. Would be really cool if, uh, if anybody interested takes the quiz as well. Maybe we all see where we all fall in the description below. Of course, if you are just interested in more Magic Arena gameplay, I will be back tomorrow with the core set premiere draft format, which will be pretty exciting because it's going to be three sets in one draft format. So anyways, let's just get into the Strixhaven quiz find out which college I belong to. So first off, we're going to choose our mascot. Pretty important when you're doing this question to uh, to check out the mascots because pests, fractals, and inklings are not so easy to know exactly what they're going to look like. Elementals and spirits are pretty self-explanatory, but they do have some artwork for the other mascots that they showed off in the introduction to the set video, um, the like release to the set video. And uh, the pests are like these little green, black, um, little wormy kind of things. They look kind of cute, kind of chubby. Uh, a lot of teeth, though. Some big mouths. Um, then they have fractals, which are kind of like these shapes, but they're like living. So it's a bunch of very hexagonal, like Geometry Wars enemies coming alive. And then inklings kind of look like... Um, the best way to describe it is is such a, a niche comparison that not a lot of people will get but they look like double cost on from Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> if anyone knows what that looks like. Kind of like, sort of like booze, like a cute ghost kind of looking thing, but they're made of ink, clearly. Uh, that's why they're inklings. They don't look like the the inklings from, uh, from Splatoon, that's for sure. Uh, I'm going to choose inklings as the mascot. I just think that the artwork on them is absolutely adorable, uh, so we're going to have to roll with that. Question two of seven. For yearbook, you've been voted most likely to become the next discoverer of a lost dimension, enlightenment council leader to dignitaries, idealistic planes leader, award-winning elemental artist, or sage of thanatology. So, starting from the bottom, not sure what thanatology even means, so it can't be that one. I'm just not smart enough. Um, I, I see that, and I just think the study of Thanos, and it's definitely not that. Uh, right above that, award-winning elemental artist. I did do a lot of artwork back in high school. Uh, I took some AP art uh, in drawing specifically. I really liked drawing with charcoal, but I haven't drawn in quite a while, uh, although I do think I got pretty decent at it doing like charcoal portraits and stuff, so kind of interested in that one just for, for my artistic side. Uh, now we have Idealistic Plains Leader. Don't even know exactly what that means. Uh, I guess it's the leader to a planes, like like the president or the the I don't even know the lord. Uh, definitely not that. Um, I'm I'm not much of a, a people person, not much of a leader, that's for sure. And then enlightenment council leader to dignitaries. Don't even know what that means either. But again, it's some form of leader. So I'm gonna have to say no. Uh, discoverer of a lost dimension. Uh, that's pretty clear what it means. Of course, all of these are kind of weighted with some magical lore to them, so none of them are going to be exactly something that you would ever do. Like, I don't think anyone's going to ever do any of this stuff, but I think the closest to me would have to be the art-related one because everything else is just pretty far off. Next up, a spider crawls up your arm. What do you do? Scream! Yes, you're surprised, but also you haven't had your daily scream yet. Swiftly gather up the specimen in a test tube, hoping you'll find beneficial properties in its biology. Or, this spider looks like an enchanted breed you once read about. You tense, roll up your sleeve to let it bite you. Uh, so you're trying to become Spider-Man. That is if you're... Alright, if you're very bold, <laughs> then I guess that might be your, your choice. Uh, 
uh, brush the little intruder off your new tunic, straightening the crease where it walked. I think that's what most people would do. That's the pretty standard response to a spider. Just, just get that off of me. Uh, and then carefully set the spider on the ground using your magic to construct a tiny grass house so it can be safe. This is for everybody who who captures the spider and then lets it out outside very peacefully. Um, but I guess maybe that's also gathering it in a test tube. I don't know. Um, for me, being completely honest, I'm a bit of a coward, so uh, scream. We're going we're gonna to scream. Uh, a group project has been assigned. What are you doing? Threatening? No, delegating tasks while trying to persuade your teammates to focus. Researching topics that have nothing to do with the project calling out sick to work on experiments of questionable intent, finishing the project by yourself while everyone else is arguing, testing out a new spell to make gorgeous ice crystals form in your cup of artisanal water. Wow, that is a preppy answer on the last one. Definitely not that. And the one right above it, finishing the project by yourself while everyone is arguing. Uh, debatable. I didn't do a ton of work back in school, so I don't know if I'd be finishing the project, but definitely would not be... Um, would not be... Um, trying to persuade them or anything so uh calling out sick to work on experiments of questionable intent not really uh, researching topics that have nothing to do with the project i think it's between this one and finishing the project by myself because i would just be doing unrelated things to the teammates that's for sure so number one delegating tasks while trying to persuade teammates to focus not that one i'm not taking a leadership leadership position just ever um i think i'm gonna go with researching top topics that have nothing to do with the project because a lot of the time if i'm in a group situation and we're not getting anything done i'm not gonna help anybody get anything done but i'm also uh i'm also pretty likely to just give up <laughs> and then just start working on homework for other classes just be like well i guess i've been put in this situation let me just make sure i get my math homework done or something so we're gonna go with researching topics uh, that have nothing to do with the experiment Question 5 of 7. After a long day of mage lessons, where can you be found? Practicing runes, trying not to get distracted by your own reflection in the ink pot. Not particularly vain, so we'll skip that one. Sitting on the tallest tower, calculating the velocity, rotten fruit would fall on the students below. Definitely not that one. I'm not calculating any velocities, not a math person at all. Feeding your collection of carnivorous plants, that already seems too hardcore for me, uh, while dreaming about your next hybrid species. What? They've accidentally slipped a Simic question into here, it seems. <laughs> that, is, that is super weird. Uh, I guess um, the Witherbloom maybe do some hybrid species. Buried in a pile of musty-smelling maps, wishing the library had extended hours. Definitely did enjoy the library a lot in school, so that seems pretty on point. I also do like um, computer-aided drafting, so like more more architecture than than cartography. So I don't know how how directly related that would be to the maps aspect, but it's closer than everything so far, except the final one: sketching in front of a giant fireplace, trying to remember a spell that brings flames off the page. So there is sketching, which I did do a lot back in um, back in high school, but I really haven't done it all since. Haven't done any computer aided drafting either, but I still have done uh, a decent amount of of reading books and chilling in the library. So I'm gonna go with that one there. Oh no, did I miss one? Oh, I did. I, I skipped over six somehow. A dean calls on you during a long and boring assembly. You jolt awake, having nodded off five minutes into the opening speech. Pretty accurate. Pretty accurate to a lot of school assembly situations. Just uh, just sleep through it, daydream through it, any of that. Blow out the candle you just ignited in order to read a message written in invisible ink. I don't even know what this means. This is, this is a bunch of magical stuff going on. Definitely... This is kind of demure as well. It's all all hidden and, and secretive. Um, are you... I'm sorry. You are ready with the correct answer to an equation you were assigned in your last course. Definitely not. You smile, having mentally prepared a speech ahead of time just in case you were called on. Hopefully the crowd goes wild. That one is the farthest from what I would do um, whatsoever. Definitely pretty introverted. I do hate any public speaking situations, so absolutely not. And then finally, you're caught off guard dreaming daydreaming about creating a tornado to get out of this assembly definitely between one and five just a lot of of napping and and just being bored during any uh, assemblies definitely during my graduation it was a lot of that um 
So it's it's one or five. I'm gonna have to go with one because I think that's a little more accurate. Like I wasn't like maliciously trying to to do anything crazy. Um, but I guess five. You're not ne- necessarily. You're just you're just uh, interested in maybe you know what if what if all of a sudden natural disaster and we gotta just leave. I'm gonna go with one though. A lot of just sleeping during those kinds of things. Question seven of seven. You're taking a long needed vacation. Where do you go? Time to hit the road. You'll be living out of a backpack, destination unknown. So backpacking does always sound a little cool to me, depending on where you're going. Like I I always thought that traveling through a lot of Europe in one trip would be really cool. However, the whole backpacking and just living out of a backpack, hitchhiking, stuff like that. That sounds very stressful to me. I wouldn't do it in that way. Like I would, I would definitely rent the car and get hotels and stuff like that. Not the, the the backpack stuff. So I'm gonna have to say no to that one. Uh, a potentially haunted tree fort. Well, we've already established I'm a coward, so we can stop right there. I'm not going anywhere haunted. Uh, studying water particles at a semi-submerged enchanted laboratory beneath the sea. They do make all these things sound very cool, but uh, I'm not taking a vacation to study. That's for sure. Uh, we go to an all-inclusive ski lodge on the top of glorious mountain range i do enjoy skiing although it has been quite a while so maybe not anymore um the last time i skied i probably wasn't even fully grown yet so <laughs> i don't even know if i could ski anymore or if i'd had to completely relearn it but i do enjoy like cold sports because they're like sports and things you can do while you're active but also like you don't get like really overheated or anything. You still get like sweaty potentially just cause your body's weird. But <laughs> I, I definitely enjoyed, um, hockey and skiing the most out of any, any, um, physical activity I've ever done. I just really like ice and snow and stuff like that. It's just cool to me. Uh, and then the final one, go to a stone cottage with flowers and vines cascading down the walls. That sounds very homely, very chill. But uh, through the trees, you can view an active volcano. That sounds very not chill and very anxiety-inducing. So we're just going to take the ski trip. That sounds fun to me. And got to enter your email to get your answer. And they're probably going to tell me all about the set here. Don't, Don't pay attention to how bad I am at typing. Don't worry about it. All right. Once I click this. We're going to find out what college I belong to. And that'll be that. All right. Lorehold College. That's what I was hoping for the whole time with my fingers crossed. Because I do think that Lorehold, out of what I've seen so far, does sound like the coolest one to me. I really like artifacts. I love love even off-color artifact stuff. So when I started playing, a lot of the stuff that cared about artifacts and did good with artifacts was just blue, and that was it. And then they started pushing into red, and then they made like blue-red artifact stuff, and I thought that was super cool. And now red-white that cares about artifacts, that's like even cooler to me. Like the farthest off you can go from just the standard mono blue I care about artifact stuff, um, the cooler it gets. So red-white with a heavy focus on artifacts just sounds really cool to me mechanically, and also the lore of lore hold <laughs> no no pun intended is pretty cool i definitely like the the archaeology and and history kind of aspects of it so the lore hold college leave no stone unturned a little bit of mystery and a whole lot of heart lore hold is the researching college that is always up for an adventure dig a little deeper at, pfft, dig a little deeper and you'll find we are passionate about history artifacts and love to explore the past even if it means waking the occasional restless spirit. Some might see history as a rich tapestry worthy of study. Here at Lorehold, we wear that tapestry like a cape and jump into a forgotten tomb. So like the Tomb Raiders, the literal Tomb Raiders of Strixhaven. Like, how how cool is that? Um, huge fan of Uncharted Tomb Raider. Um, not actually that big of an Indiana Jones fan, but that's also kind of because it's just before my time, whereas Uncharted and the new Tomb Raider games definitely just came out <laughs> at the right times for me for for me to really like them. Um, so that kind of stuff, Tomb Raiding, checking out the old artifacts and stuff, always very, very cool. And uh, yeah, so 
Turns out I am Lorehold. That is what I was hoping for the whole time. And I did answer as honestly as I could, although a lot of the questions were pretty like magical related and kind of obvious what uh, what college they they paired themselves up with. But I am very happy to see that even the quiz agrees that I should go to the Lorehold College. So that is going to end today's video. If you're interested in taking the quiz, as I said before, that is in the description below. Go ahead and check it out. Maybe we can all talk about what what colleges we got into. Did we want to get in that college? Maybe some of you answered your questions. You're like, I really wanted to play Prismari, but the stupid thing told me I'm Silver Quill and now I'm mad. Um, obviously, you don't have to listen to this. This is just for fun. Um, and you can uh, share your result on Twitter and stuff. I'll, I'll probably do that because that's where I heard about this quiz. I just saw a bunch of people posting it on Twitter. And I'm like, that's cool. Where do I see that? I want to take that to take that quiz. So, yeah, that is going to be the end of today's video. Uh, we do have the premiere draft of course sets, quote unquote, coming out tomorrow. That will be tomorrow's draft video. That is one pack of M21, one pack of M20, and one pack of M19. Should be really interesting and really cool because those sets were completely drafted self-contained before, just three of the one set. So just mix them all together gives us just a, a fresh new draft format. It's going to be just kind of a hodgepodge of all of those formats, but still still very neat that we're getting something nobody has technically ever drafted before. So very pumped for that tomorrow. And then of course, I believe next week they are bringing back the Arena Cube. We'll be playing that until the launch of Strixhaven. So thank you all very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. It is very different. So if you made it to the end, then a big thumbs up to you. Um, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff if you want. YouTube to keep recommending you these videos as well as potentially recommending them to others. As always, um, I'm, as always, I lose my train of thought at the end of these videos, uh, but thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you again for some more Magic Arena content tomorrow.